Hello friends, today we are going to see yet another problem in engineering mechanics and this time the problem that we are going to solve is moment of a force about a point. Let us see how to solve this problem given here. A force of 800 Newton acts on a bracket as shown. Determine the moment of the force about the point B. Let us do this problem here. There is a force 800 Newton acting on this bracket AB. The point B is hinged onto the wall. What we are going to do is that to create the free body diagram of this bracket. So if I draw the free body diagram of this bracket, it will come something like this. This point is B and this point is A. And I have a force of 800 Newtons acting at an angle of 60 degrees. This length is given to be 160 mm, 160 mm, and this length is given to be 200 mm. Okay. We know that moment of this force is a cross product of the radius and the force applied. When we say radius, it is the vector, the position vector of any point on the application of the force with respect to the point of interest. So let us consider in this case, point B is a point of interest. and our point of application is point A. So in this case our line of action is here and any point on the line of action being point A I have to take a R vector like this. This will be my R that is position vector of A with respect to B R A B. So I can write moment of the force about point B is equal to R A about B cross F. So let us see how each of these terms have to be considered. Let us first consider the first vector which is to be used for this equation R A with respect to B. Now, to find this vector R A B, all that I am going to do is find the location of A with respect to the point B. To find the location of A with respect to B, it is quite easy. You All you have to remember is that the R vector is from B to A. So my destination is A and the source is B. The vector is from source to the destination. So it will be the coordinate point of A minus the coordinate point of B. So here in this case if you see with respect to B to come to point A I have to come in the negative x direction 200 mm and in the positive y direction 160 mm. So RAB becomes minus 0 0.2 I am converting the mm into meters so minus 0 0.2 meters or I cap that is the in the x direction plus 0 0.16 J cap that is the vertical uh, direction length so this is this becomes my R A B now coming to the force F, the force is given to be 800 Newton acting at an angle of 60 degrees. So to obtain the force as a vector, I have to resolve this force in the X and in the Y components to make it as a vector. So let us resolve this force in the X and in the Y directions. So if I see here, this angle is 60. 
So the cos component becomes the x component and the sin component becomes the y component with respect to this 60 degree angle. So 800 cos 60i cos 60 degree i plus 800 sin 60 degree j cap. This becomes my force vector which is if I substitute for 60 degree angle and other values it turns out to be 400 i because cos 60 is half 0.5 plus 693 j cap and the unit is Newton. So now all that I have to do is find R cross F. Now vector cross products are quite easier to handle if you know how to arrange them in the matrix and find the corresponding determinant. So here for finding MB all that I have to do is find RAB cross F. RAB is minus 0.2 I cap plus 0.16 J cap cross 400 I cap plus 693 J cap. Now how do we organize this to find the cross product? Generally we use a determinant where I, J and K as the first row of the determinant. Next comes the I component of the first vector and here the first vector is RAB minus 0.2 that is the co coefficient of I 0.16 that is the coefficient of J for the first vector and since we do not have any K here so we will put 0. Next for the second vector we will put it in the third row 400 I and 693 j and 0 k. So our moment mb can be found by finding this determinant of this matrix. We will get that the moment after doing the cross products. Now here cross products for i it becomes 0, j again it becomes 0 and then k you can see it is minus 0.2 into 693 minus 0.16 into 400. So minus 0.2 into 693 minus 0.16 into 400. So which turns out to be minus 138.6 minus 64 and the total sums out to be minus 202.6 Newton meter and yeah here it is k cap k cap k cap so the negative sign only represents that the moment vector is in the negative z direction. So that means it is 202.6 Newton meter acting in the clockwise direction of z axis. Now when we talk about the sense of moment vector we can use always our right hand thumb rule. So here if you see carefully if I curl my fingers around the direction of the moment that is in whichever direction the force is tending to rotate I get the thumb pointing direction to be the direction of moment. So in this case if you carefully see this force of 800 Newton is applied with respect to point B. So this force has a curling effect with respect to B in this direction and hence my thumb is pointing in the downward direction and hence this sign convention of minus 
202.6 is justified. This is how we are supposed to find moment of a force. Thank you. We will revisit this moment of a force about a point in yet another problem. Thank you.